Hey, in today's video, we will look into what are flash loans and how they operate in the decentralized finance or DeFi ecosystem. Imagine that you want to borrow a phone charger from a friend. They agree to give it to you, but there is a catch. Your time charging your phone is limited. The friend instructs that you can charge your phone until the sand in the hourglass falls into another bulb. After the time runs out, you must return it to them. Otherwise, they will no longer be friends with you. That's quite drastic, right? However, this is essentially how flash loans work. If we replace your friend with a crypto lender, change the charger with cryptocurrencies, and replace the hourglass with the blockchain transaction block, we meet DeFi flash loans. Of course, the lender won't tell you that you aren't his friend anymore, but your reputation on the lending platform may be tarnished. Welcome to Crypto Finally Explained, the most crypto-friendly educational YouTube channel for actually learning crypto. Here, I finally explain crypto topics using simple animations, visual doodles, and real-life examples, so no matter if you're 5 or 75, you'll be able to understand it. In this video, we will work our way through getting a better understanding of what are flash loans. In particular, we will explore how flash loans work and what they are used for. Let's do this! Firstly, before we delve deep into the specifics of these loans, let's explore what are flash loans in the crypto world exactly. The term flash loans is used to describe uncollateralized loans, which are issued and repaid within the same blockchain transaction. This is exactly why it's called flash. You may wonder, how is it even possible? I wondered the same thing when I first learned about flash loans. I promise that we will definitely answer this question, but first, let's look into how flash loans became a thing in the first place. Well, the history of flash loans traces back to 2018, when an open source bank, Marble, introduced such a feature. Despite this launch, flash loans started gaining popularity only after a few years. The renewed interest in the loans was led by the decentralized lending platform Aave, which introduced this feature in January of 2020. It didn't take long for flash loans to gain attention from decentralized finance investors. In July of 2020, Avi was already issuing around $100 million in flash loans on a daily basis. As the year went by, the interest around flash loans only grew larger. It is worth noting that at the beginning, flash loans were exclusively created for developers as the process of acquiring a loan required some technical coding skills. However, starting August of 2020, several platforms removed their requirement and introduced a simpler version, letting regular investors take advantage of this unique feature. As we covered the basics and the history of flash loans, it's time to switch our attention to how exactly do flash loans work. As I mentioned before, flash loans aren't called this way by chance, as users have extremely limited time to borrow and return funds. The process is completely automated through smart contracts to ensure the assets are received and returned during the same blockchain transaction. Without going into too much detail, smart contracts are blockchain-based programs that are executed once certain criteria have been met. Want to know more about the specifics of smart contracts and how they work? I have a dedicated video for this topic on my channel. Now, to acquire a flash loan, the borrower creates a smart contract with three components, borrowing, interaction, and repayment. Let's look into all of these components one by one, shall we? The first component, borrowing, describes the beginning of the flash loan and identifies the amount the investor wants to borrow from the lending protocol. There are a few well-known DeFi lending platforms. However, Aave, Compound, and MakerDAO are among the most popular. Another component, interaction, is quite straightforward. This part describes the logic of how smart contracts connect and cooperate with other DeFi platforms or smart contracts. This part is usually used to describe the processes that go down once a loan is received but has yet to be returned. Lastly, the repayment component. Together with the borrowing component, it plays a crucial role in the execution of the flash loan. The repayment component, as the name suggests, describes the process of fund repayment within the same transaction. As I briefly mentioned before, smart contracts ensure that the whole process of acquiring flash loans follows predetermined conditions described in the previously mentioned components. Therefore, if only one part of the whole transaction fails, the whole process fails. There is no middle ground. This process is called atomicity. If anything goes wrong with the loan, let's say you can't repay it within the same transaction, the whole thing fails. When this happens, no data is recorded on the blockchain, except that the transaction failed. Naturally, you might be wondering what are the flash loan perks compared to regular loans from centralized finance entities like banks. One of the main things is the speed. To receive a loan from a bank, you need to submit several documents, wait for approval, get your background checked, and so on. This process may take months. In the case of DeFi and flash loans, everything is submitted and approved in mere minutes. No questions asked. Another difference is the borrowing amount. Using DeFi lending protocols, investors can borrow any amount they desire, given that the lender has the money. However, when it comes to traditional banks, these institutions follow strict guidelines of how much they can lend you. Lastly, with flash loans, users don't need collateral. As I mentioned before, the whole process of acquiring a flash loan is enforced by smart contracts. 
So if the contract notices that the loan cannot be repaid immediately, it simply doesn't confirm the transaction. Thus, the loan gets canceled. On the other hand, with traditional banks, once they prove the borrower's credentials, the person must give the bank collateral to acquire a loan. So, as we cover the basics of how flash loans work, it's time to explore what are flash loans used for. The main purpose of this type of a loan is to allow investors to secure profit without placing their own assets at risk. But how can they do that if the whole transaction takes seconds? Well, there are a few ways, like arbitrage, collateral swap, and debt refinancing. Let's look into each one of them in detail. So, arbitrage. Using this method, investors can take advantage of the token price difference on two separate crypto trading platforms. The return of using arbitrage mainly depends on the price differences between the two platforms. For example, let's say a certain token trades for $1 on Uniswap, while on DDX it trades for $3. You take a flash loan of $100 and use it to purchase that cryptocurrency on Uniswap. Then, you trade those tokens on DDX and receive $300. As the flash loan mechanism follows, you repay the $100 you borrowed and secure a $200 profit. While it took me some time to describe this process to you, it takes only a few seconds to execute the flash loan and trading transactions in real life. Actual lightning speed, right? The next use case for a crypto flash loan is a collateral swap. This method allows investors to quickly repay the existing loan before taking out a new loan with better terms. Let's look at an example to understand this use case better. Imagine that you took out a loan on Aave and used Tether as collateral to receive 5 Ether. After some time, you decide that you want to access your Tether while still borrowing 5 Ether. For this time around, you chose to use USD coin as collateral. You have two options, either follow a complex set of actions of repaying the loan and borrowing once again, or use a flash loan that, essentially, does the job for you. So, how do flash loans help with this process? As I mentioned before, when issuing flash loans, you describe the whole process in the beginning stages of the issuance. Therefore, you could use it to borrow 5 Ether, repay the existing loan, receive your Tether, swap it to USDC, and then take another loan to receive 5 Ether. With the help of flash loans, this process can be executed in mere seconds. The last flash loan use case described in this video will be debt refinancing. In particular, flash loans allow investors to make interest rate swaps. How? Well, investors can use the loan to repay the debt on another platform and use the new received collateral to mint a new debt thus possibly securing a better interest rate. The open source protocol Aave issued a comprehensive example of how debt refinancing can be used. For example, investors can execute a flash loan on Aave, use the funds to pay back debt and withdraw collateral from Compound. Afterward, they can deposit the collateral and mint new debt on other DeFi platforms like DDX. Then, finally, return liquidity to Aave. Before we move on, if you want to know more about this specific lending protocol, I have a dedicated video discussing everything from A to Z when it comes to Aave. Check it out. I must note that these are definitely not all of the methods of how DeFi flash loans can be used to benefit your wallet. However, while there are significant advantages, there are also some underlying disadvantages of flash loans. One of the main issues targeting flash loan issuers and investors is flash loan attacks, or simply flash attacks. In short, using this method, malicious actors take advantage of the uncollateralized, unregulated, and almost unlimited capital nature of these loans. By doing so, hackers can manipulate crypto markets, make use of platform vulnerabilities, and thus generate profit. The Federal Bureau of Investigations, or the FBI, has previously identified that smart contract-based exploits, like flash attacks, became one of the biggest threats to the DeFi ecosystem. It is believed that, so far, malicious actors bagged more than $7 billion in crypto from these attacks. So, what does a typical DeFi flash loan attack look like? Firstly, hackers usually follow the same procedure as every investor who wants to take out a flash loan. However, attackers usually borrow an exceptionally large amount of cryptocurrencies. Then, they use the assets to manipulate the price of borrowed assets or exploit certain vulnerabilities inside the DeFi platform. Finally, exploiters must repay the borrowed funds. Otherwise, the whole sequence of transactions would be reversed and cancelled. It is worth noting that some community members argue that flash loan attacks cannot be considered malicious activity. This claim is based on the unofficial DeFi ethos that code is law. Therefore, some community members believe that certain flash loan attacks are just complex arbitrage. While speed can be considered one of the main advantages of flash loans, it is also its disadvantage when it comes to exploits. Due to their high speed, these attacks are extremely difficult to detect and counteract, giving attackers a helping hand in targeting multiple markets at the same time. In one of the more recent instances, malicious actors used a flash attack to get away with almost $200 million from the Ethereum-based DeFi protocol Euler Finance. In particular, hackers stole funds in the form of wrapped Bitcoin, USD coin, DAI, and staked Ether. 
it is worth noting that the specific hack had quite a positive ending, as the hacker eventually returned almost all the funds to Euler Finance. While the protocol did recover its funds, this example perfectly illustrates the scale of flash loan attacks. According to the FBI, to avoid flash loan attacks, DeFi platforms should perform real-time monitoring, system testing, and have prepared an incident response plan. The FBI claims this plan should be executed whenever the platform detects suspicious activity, smart contract exploitation, or other vulnerabilities. It is fair to say that we covered the most important aspects of DeFi flash loans, hopefully helping you to paint a general picture of what are flash loans. Before we part ways, let's have a quick memory refresher of this complex feature. DeFi flash loans are crypto loans that don't require collateral and must be returned within the same blockchain transaction. DeFi platforms employ smart contracts to make sure that the process of acquiring and repaying the loan goes smoothly. While this feature is mainly used for three use cases, namely arbitrage, collateral swap, and debt refinancing, there are many more options to utilize flash loans. As with almost anything, flash loans come with their own benefits and disadvantages, with one of the main downsides being flash loan attacks. Thank you for watching this video on flash loans. I hope that you found it valuable and helpful. If you like this animated explainer, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to CryptoFiling Explained. See you soon.